Wendell Kurth, born March 15th, 1819, died June 24th, 1892. Louis Nicholas, 1829 to 1903. Susanna Nicholas, 1835 to 1901. What a beautiful piece. Amazing monument. That's all it says. Mary. Stephen A. Boutwell died May 31st, 1881, aged 56 years three months. Willie H., son of S.W. and E.M. Butler, died April 30th. 1874, aged 17 years, 11 months, and 20 days. And this is Willie. And this is the Butler plot. statue looking into Jesus it says Edwin Bryant Crocker died June 24th 1875 age 57 years Margaret Eleanor Crocker died December 1st 1901 age 79 years Amy Crocker uh, Garad, December 5th, 1864, February 7th, 1941. Amy Crocker. What a massive monument. Wow. Still at the Butler plot, and this is Brother. beloved sister, Julia. Maria Luisa, uh, what is that? I'm not sure what that says. Hartman, maybe? Died February 25th, 1877, age 17 years, five months, 18 days. Filipina, wife of John Oswald, died uh, 4th of 
of September, I think. 1857, age 34 years. on this. It's pretty amazing. Mrs. John Shaw, born March 6th, 1833, died January 9th, 1902. Shaw marker. Here we have John. Born May 2nd, 1829. Died June 15th, 1897. Here's Emma Louise Shaw. Born July 14th, 1857. Died March 11th, 1864. And the grounds crew is out, which is uh, their inmates from the county jail. So they'll be making noise. Okay, so a little story I heard about uh, this gentleman, Papa J John J. Gray, died uh, May 28th, 1889, age 54 years, nine months, and eight days, native of London this gentleman had committed suicide <clears throat> now the story that I read although the dates were off was that he came here he had a business in San Francisco um, I'm not sure what type of business it was I don't remember but uh, he came up here to visit his wife's brother who was buried here uh, in Sacramento and he took a bunch of strychnine and poisoned himself here he committed suicide right here um, and uh, some grounds crew found him now remember this is back in the 1800s they found him they brought him way over to the chapel where he uh, eventually succumbed to uh, poisoning it ate his internal organs out so pretty intense um, I guess his business was failing and that's why he decided to end his life up here but uh, I did a little research here walking around the cemetery trying to find this spot and I finally found it although the date is uh, incorrect but um, I did look up the uh, we have the uh, PDF index and it shows that uh, this gentleman did commit suicide so and the other story I read uh, it was the same name John Gray so I'm gonna assume that they're both the same of WMM Bond, uh, born in Tipton County, I'm not sure what that says, I don't know, died March 5th, 1858, I think, age 21 years, two months, something days. Sacred to the memory of Abby A, wife of Randall, something Randall, died May 4th, 1865, at the age of 26. Clara Burnett, born January 20 something, 18, it's hard to tell, 1835 or 25, died September 5th, 1852. 
more not for me. Adolphus Burnett, born 1832, died 1852 as well. Also Emma Burnett. Charles Burnett, born 1846, and he passed in 1865. I'm kind of on the hunt for a specific grave or marker. I'm hoping I can find it. I think it's Anna or some Ania. Noella, daughter of Henry and Sarah Bragg, died 1862, uh, May 7th, 1862, but I can't really read what the date is. She was a young person, no name. No date, just Emily. So this specific spot here, we have a young lady buried here and her interesting uh, marker here with the cross and the angel. Now uh, this cross was toppled over and damaged and she was hidden, the angel was hidden underneath the ground here and they tried to restore it. We're in the oldest part of the uh, historic cemetery here in Sacramento. Um, at any rate, on the back of the cross, it's written in German, and there's a gentleman who's trying to decipher it. Um, I haven't found any information on whether or not he has, but she's an, uh, we don't have a name for her as well, which is sad, but she was a professional prostitute. And this was in the, around the late 19th century, and she had two suitors, and they both asked, to marry her and she refused one and went for the other well one night when she was singing um, the gentleman who was refused came in and stabbed her to death uh, on, on stage at a club apparently uh, the man who loved her who she was going to marry was so saddened by this that he had this memorial made the cross and the angel statue um, and like I said uh, over the years it had toppled over it had been kicked over there was a lot of damage to the cemetery uh, prior to 1986 I believe it was is when they started cleaning it up and fixing the markers and things at any rate I hope I hope they can find what the gentleman wrote on the back and like I said it was written in German but um, yeah, I just wanted to share that little, little story with you. It took me a while to find this little spot. But yeah, it's a sad little story. So bless her. Very sad. So here's the backside of our murder victim, which is still working on being translated. As you can see, it's very difficult to read and it is in German so we also we also have you know the the haunting hauntings here um, it, at the evening there's a two spirits a married couple that as the Sun begins to go down they like to walk around and they're both completely dressed in black. 
Um, there's also a little girl who likes to run around and play, which is what children do. They run around and have fun. So there's a lot of spirits here. There's a fireman who roams the grounds. And people always say that when they visit here, they have a strange feeling like they're being watched. And I can attest to that because I feel that too. I do wish the grounds crew wasn't here today blowing, making all that noise. It would be nice to hear the sound of nature. But that's okay. In memory of G.O.W. Williams, M.D., born in Fayette County, Kentucky, April 23rd to 1820, uh, April 23rd, 1823, died in Sacramento City, May 18th, 1855. Rest in peace, brother. So here we have Virgil Edwin Earp, who also liked to be known as just Eddie. And this is the cousin of Wyatt Earp. <clears throat> now this guy, he was on an old TV show, uh, like a game show in the 1950s called The $64,000 Question. And he got on and he lied about how, you know, he was with Wyatt during, you know, the whole Tombstone thing. And it was, it was all nonsense. Uh, I guess apparently he abducted his cousin's wife because he was in love with her and had an arrest warrant out for him. This guy was an absolute character. And uh, he's buried here in uh, good old Sacramento. And also, uh, Wyatt Earp's older half-brother is also buried in Sacramento, but over at East Lawn, which is uh, closer to my house. Here we have a Margaret, wife of John Carmichael, died April 16th. I believe that says 1858, perhaps age 25 or three years. Here we have William Irwin, governor of California, born 1827, died 1896. That is a rather large monument. We have an Edward P. born January 10th, 1856. Died November 20th, 1906. He was the state controller. Over here. We have W.H. Weeks, Secretary of State. Died August 16th, 1863. Aged 64 years. 46 years. This beautiful monument here is really a nice profile. And I think it says Ferguson. Yep, Ferguson. I'm not seeing. Here we go. This was erected by the state of California. Here we go. W.I. Ferguson, native of Washington County, Pennsylvania. Died September 14th, 1858, aged 33 years, four months, five days. This gorgeous lily. Stunning. Really beautiful. William Sperry died March 21st, 1890, at the age of 56 years. Husband. That lily is gorgeous.
James Cousins died July 4th, 1901, age 50 years.